See you. Let's bring in KT McFarland, former Trump Deputy National Security Advisor and board member for the American Conservative Union and author of Revolution, Trump, Washington, and We the People. Good to see you, KT. Look, you say that, that the failures that we've had in, in international security issues uh, bear a resemblance of sorts to the failures that we've had in national security issues involving law and order. Explain. Okay, it's really the same phenomenon, and it's the same people. It's the far left who says, let's defund the police, because we don't want police to have, um, we don't want them to have weapons. They're going to use it for bad things. And it's the same attitude of, let's cut the defense budget. Let's make sure that the United States doesn't have a strong military, because, after all, they might want to use it somewhere. But the other thing that's the same is the lax sort of attitude towards crimes being committed. In the United States, what happens? Well, criminals can go shoplift anywhere they want, and, and nobody's even bothering to arrest them. Vladimir Putin, he can go take Crimea. Nothing much happens. He then ta he talks about and goes into Ukraine. Are we really having a serious effort to try to stop his efforts? Are we arming the Ukrainians? No, we're not, not to the extent that we could. Are we cutting back on Putin's ability to make war by cutting back on his income that he gets from oil and natural gas? No, we're not doing right. that at all. So it's, to me, it's the same phenomenon. So if and I can nutshell it. the response of the American people and the world is fast. If I can yeah. put it in a nutshell, and I think we may be seeing Frank James come out now. Uh, these are live shots from the Ninth Precinct where he's being held and he's being booked. Uh, as, as we're talking, I'll just stop as soon as we see him, if we do indeed. Uh, but you're saying there are no consequences for aggression action, aggressive action against the innocents. That's a detail. There he is, by the way. Forgive me for interrupting my question, but that is uh, the perpetrator in this, or the alleged perpetrator, Frank James. Uh, he again was, was spotted by a shopkeeper in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Let's just listen and see. I'm, I don't think he'll say anything. Are you innocent? Are you guilty? What do you have to say for yourself? Are you innocent? Can you explain the video? Why did you do this, Frank? No, he didn't say anything. All right, so once again, the, uh, the alleged perpetrator of the subway attack has, has been booked at the 9th Precinct, uh, apparently was read his charges. I don't know that, whether that would include the federal charges or whether the federal charges will be booked elsewhere. But, uh, KT, to your point again, that the, the fact that this is another guy who had a big rap sheet and he kept getting let out again and again, but no consequences for aggression against the innocent. That's what what we see the similarity between what's happening nationally, what's happening internationally. Yeah, but then what happens is a response. And so what you're seeing in the United States is the law and order issue is one of the biggest issues on people's minds, right? So Republicans are being elected all across the country in state and local governments. What's happening in Europe with Ukraine? Law and order is on their mind, too. So what's happened in the last 24 hours? Sweden, historically neutral Sweden, wants to join NATO. Finland, which never even, I mean, these countries have disarmed, never had arms. They're now talking about joining NATO. Germany, which disarmed, and I mean, Germany only has 100 working tanks, if you can believe that in the German army. Germany's rearming. Right. So what happens is that people in countries, they wake up to it and they respond, and that's what you're seeing now. Well, and I, I agree with you, and I think that's what we saw in Virginia, and we're seeing it elsewhere. By the way, we're having an election here for governor. We have it in an off year. Uh, in the odd years, we have our, our governor's election. So that's, that's coming up in a few months. Uh, and, and Governor Hochul is, is running. She's never been elected. She was appointed when, uh, uh, when Andrew Cuomo resigned as governor. But she has been praising the exact policies that let these people out of prison, these new bail laws that we have. Uh, she spoke about her anger about what happened less yesterday. Let me, let me just play a little soundbite of that and then say what she's saying about these awful bail laws. Roll tape. And we are sick and tired of reading headlines about crime, whether they're mass shootings or the loss of a teenage girl or a 13-year-old. It has to stop. I'm committing the full resources of our state to fight this surge of crime, this insanity that is seizing our city because we want to get back to normal. So she was saying we want to get back to normal, but normal for her are these bail laws, which she defended as recently as two weeks ago, bail laws that let the guilty, violent guilty people right out just hours after they've been arrested. She said two weeks ago in the, in the Daily News, fewer New Yorkers are kept behind bars just because they can't pay, and we have saved taxpayer dollars in the process. 
in her mind, that success, in my mind, that like lets people like Frank James out of jail too soon. Yeah, and it's all virtue signaling, whether it's in the White House where President Biden is outraged by the behavior of Vladimir Putin or the governor of New York who's outraged by what happens in the streets of New York. What are they doing about it? They're really talking. They're virtue signaling. We know they're upset. But it's very, it's very similar to what Jimmy Carter did in the 1970s. He was outraged by a lot of things, but he didn't do a darn thing to change things. And so as a result, what happened? The country elected Ronald Reagan, who changed right. everything. I think that's where we're headed now. I can't leadership. see I can't see people like Governor Hochul getting real getting elected uh, come November. We'll we'll see what happens. But uh, KT McFarland, great to see you. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it.